Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Theophanes. Saint Theophanes grew up under the guardianship of Emperor Constantine the 5th. His father having died early, leaving him heir to a large estate. He was induced to marry the daughter of a Byzantine patrician, but the marriage remaining unconsummated by mutual consent, he joined the monks of Polychronicon while his wife became a nun. He then founded monasteries and served as abbot at Mount Sigriana on the shores of the Sea of the Marmara between Sizicus and Kirmasti River. In the year 787, he was invited to take part in the Second Council of Nicaea, which sanctioned the use and reverence of sacred images. But in the year 814, the Armenian Emperor Leo V reversed this policy and strove to suppress the cult of images. Theophanes ranged himself against Leo's iconoclastic policy and paid no heed to his threat. Thus, after receiving 300 stripes, he was thrown into a dungeon for two years. Deprived of the bare necessities of life, he fell severely ill and was exiled to the island of Samothrace in Greece where he died on the 12th of March 817. He is venerated as a saint both by the Greek and the Latin Rite churches. He was the author of an important chronicle composed between 810 and 814 at the suggestion of his friend George Sinicolus. It covers the period between 284 and 813. His chronicle, along with that of Nicephorus I, Patriarch of Constantinople, highlights the principal Byzantine historical source for the 7th and the 8th centuries.